Put some WD-40 on there. And the uh, clips and we'll move them shortly and take these apart. The caps taken off the hubs. First off, a big shout out to Paul. Thanks, Nephi P. Thanks for sorting that out. Uh, he's come round and he's helped me remove. Using his uh, vice on the rear hubs, he helped me fix this into the vice in the back of his van, uh, and it allowed us to undo the hub nut, which was really tight. So tomorrow, when I go to the powder coaters. I can take both, I, well to be fair, I need the bearing pressed out, so I'll need to get that done on both of these. Let's get the other one. Um, when I go to the power coaters, I'll just have to tell them and, and ask them not to ensure that they don't put any powder coat, obviously, on this part here, where the bearing goes. And no powder coat must go on the inside of there either, because there's the bearing to the size it fits in there is so minute. Any paint or whatever will, will stop it going in properly. So, uh, yeah, those two are ready to go. I'm still having difficulty stripping the uh, power steering pump off this bracket. However, the bracket's actually in pretty good condition. Uh, it's not, not, not really marked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to degrease it, clean it, and then hammer it black. I'm pretty confident that's going to come up looking really good as well. So, um, yeah, that's the approach I'm going to take with that. So getting that powder coated and all the other bits I've been painting have come up really well, so I'm um, not too fussed about that. The other thing to mention is we're taking some circlips off uh, at the top here. And now that they were off, it meant we could dismantle the front suspension components. So what I've done here is I've laid them out in the floor as, as the way that they've come off. And that's just so that when I rebuild them, I make sure that I put them on correctly. So all of these bits, now we'll go to the powder coat. Is that, so instead of getting it yellow, I'll we'll get it silver and get that one black. So there's a bit of discrepancy between them and get all these bits done. I won't get this, the main shock assembly, uh, powder coated. And I think it's, that's to do with the fact that the oil inside can heat up, etc. So uh, I won't get it shocked less than the powder coated. I'll probably send these two off back to Gaz. Uh, to get them to refurb them so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to finish stripping down this one over here and get all the parts and components and that lined up take a couple of photos so i know where we went and then uh, stick them in the pile for cleaning uh, one last thing that was done is i've taken the tie rod ends off the power steering rack and we counted how many turns as i've previously mentioned in the other video i think this was seven and a quarter and that was four and a half to give us a ballpark Figure, an idea of where it will go um, and I think yeah I think that's about it so uh, a few more bolts for zinc plating yeah that's about it Bit up about it for now I'm just going to uh, finish off these final bits before calling it at night These solid top mounts 
Uh, I'm not sure what they're off, but I would guess looking at them. I'll check with Warren, the previous owner, but what I would and uh, the person, the owner before that, Harry, I believe his name was. His name escapes me. Um, as to what they're off, where they come from, because it seems to me that they've just been fabricated or custom to fit the Puma and when they came off they didn't fit particularly well there was washers between the fixing points on the on the mounts in the car so uh, yeah something to investigate I mean looking at them I would suggest that they'll lend a scrap and I'll look at buying some uh, rally or motorsport ones suitable which go with the shocks that I've got uh, the gas gold coilovers and that are also suit suited to the uh, to the mounts actually on the car so uh yeah something else to uh, investigate there but uh yeah i'll just leave them there for now one final thing of note is after cleaning up the garage it's been so much nicer to work in a much cleaner place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some either white or light gray paint suitable for the uh, breeze blocks i'm going to paint that up and freshen it up there i'm going to get some of the tiles the, the probably a dark gray or a black um click on tiles I'll put, I'll put a little image of there so you can see the ones i'm about referring to and the other thing that i've started doing as well is i've started measuring up the distance from the door and the depth and how much width and space i've got along here uh, to get in some custom fit cabinets now they are quite expensive but and um, there's some really good offers on at the moment it will mean getting everything out of the way and if i'm painting all the floors and getting all the floor done it will finish it off nicely and it will mean i can just put all of my equipment away uh, it's actually a corner unit. Again, I'll put a picture in here. And it'll be a, a unit which will go on the right-hand side there. Uh, so it'll give me a workstation I can put a vice in. And then a big storage lock, sort of locker there. And prob possibly a toolbox on wheels that I can drag out. Again, I'll put some of the images in so you can see them. So, uh, yeah, live spruce up the garage is something I've always wanted to do. And I've been putting it off. But doing the channel and that and working in here, it's, it's going to bring a lot nicer content for you and it's going to be a nicer environment for me to work in because obviously i'm going to spend a lot of time in here so um yeah so at some point there'll be a garage uh garage transformation video so hopefully that'll get me a few more views on youtube as well so uh yeah that's all for now uh this is a bit of a shorter video than normal but it's just a, a little update the next update you'll be seeing is um, me collecting the parts from the powder coaters and dropping off the new bits. So uh, really excited to see what that looks like. And we can add even more bits to the pile. So uh, yeah, catch you all soon. Cheers.